You know how in most movies, time flows forward, cause, then effect? Well, Tenet flips that around. The movie's wild idea is that some objects, and even people, can move backwards through time. Not just metaphorically, but physically. It's called time inversion. But how does that even make sense? Okay, in physics, there's a concept called entropy. It's basically a measure of disorder. Think of breaking a glass. Once it shatters, it doesn't just jump back together. Why? Because entropy increases. That's the second law of thermodynamics. It's why time feels like it only moves forward. Now what Tenet imagines is, what if we could reverse entropy? Not just mentally, but actually. Reverse the physical disorder of particles. If you could do that, an object would move backward through time. A bullet returns to the gun. An explosion reassembles itself. The movie says this is possible through some future tech that manipulates entropy at a quantum level. Which, to be clear, we can't actually do. But it's rooted in real physics debates, like CPT symmetry, a theory that says if you flip charge parity in time, the laws of physics should still work. So the movie's idea isn't total nonsense, it's sci-fi based on real physics questions. But when people go inverted and tenet, their whole experience of time reverses. They breathe differently, even fire burns cold. That's where science takes a backseat to fiction. Our biology isn't built for reversed entropy. Your brain, your lungs, they wouldn't function. Still, it's a brilliant concept. It's not time travel in the usual sense. It's more like time re-navigation, moving backward through a world that's still moving forward. So yeah, Tenet is confusing, but underneath the explosions and backward car chases, it's really asking one question. What if we could break the one rule the universe never lets us break? The direction of time.